Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, D registration. It's either 1986 or 87. Land Rover 90, 2.5 turbo diesel um, with side windows, uh, seven seater spec. Finished in, uh, I think it's Eastern Green this colour, um, with a white roof, classic combination. Um, fitted with white eight spoke alloys. It's got mud flaps on it. Uh, it's got opening rear windows. Three seats in the front, twin benches in the back. One of the twin benches has got seat belts in it. The other one hasn't. Um, boot mounted spare. Tow pack with electric, with twin electrics it looks like. That's about it. Um, nice honest landy this one. Looks like most of the paint, apart from around the scuttle areas, is uh, largely original. Certainly it's original colour in Eastern Green. Uh, 157,000 miles I think. Uh, I did 70 miles in it the other day. Drove really, really nicely with an uncannily smooth and quiet engine actually for a diesel. Um, it doesn't look as if it's ever, ever been off-roaded. It just looks like it's led a fairly uh, easy, gentle life, this one. It's uh, pretty much dent-free. The only dent I can find walking around it, just the front of the bonnet here is dented. Um, it hasn't broken the paint, just a sort of a depression just around there on the front of the bonnet. Just where we've polished it, there's a few polish marks here and there. But uh, overall around the front end, there's one or two areas of paint loss, as you'd expect, given the fact that it's, uh, what, 23, 24 years old now. A couple of scratches and things like that, but... Um, as befits a, a working vehicle. Down the near side, it looks very, very straight and clean down there. There's no, uh, well, certainly by Land Rover standards, there's no uh, um, dinks or dents or anything like that down the near side on the wings or anything. Bit of electrolytic reaction just coming up around here around the front of the near side front eyebrow. And there's some reaction that looks like it's been touched in a bit just there on the top of the near side rear wing. Um, and a bit again down here on the back of the, uh, um, the behind the, uh, the eyebrow on the near side front wing. Um, a post on the passenger side all looks very very good that all looks nice there it has been repaired up here it's obviously been um, painted a slightly different color green which uh, isn't a wonderful job but it actually looks like it's fairly solid shall we say um, also been repaired just up here above the um, uh, above the scuttle vent screen all looks fine a couple of my very minor stone chips in it but nothing major uh, all the roof all looks good up there passenger door couple of bits of electrolytic reaction bubbling along here um, and some electrolytic reaction bubbling along the bottom edge as you'd expect um, and around the bottom hinge inside it's all really quite civilized and clean actually all the front seats are all cloth and all in very good shape might benefit from a valet in there but um, if you want it sort of super clean but it's uh, by Land Rover standards not bad at all it's had a headlining at some point in the back which has been uh, taken down again I'm gonna let that run. Um, it's got the rear seats in the back of it there uh, easy clean front interior but it all looks so nice and clean and tidy and uh, not bad at all. Um, near side door, a couple of, it's a minor hole in the bottom frame just there but otherwise it's not bad at all. That's all quite good. Uh, quite like that. Near side rear wing is all very good. A um, little bit of bubbling just coming up on the, uh, the, the tub top trim around the join just there but no more than that. But that's all nice and straight. Uh, around the tail end here, it all looks very good indeed. Nothing to worry about there at all. Inside here, ignore my bag, it doesn't come with it. Um, we've got, uh, obviously, the twin bench seats. The offside one here has got, say, twin seat belts with it. Um, tailgate bottom frame, very, very good indeed. That's exceptionally good, actually. I wonder if that's the original one. That's incredibly good, that tailgate frame. The... Uh, the door card isn't brilliant, but the frame itself is fantastic. Down the offside, once again, very straight, very clean, very correct. No, uh, um, no real off-roading damage at all. A little bit of reaction just coming up on the back of the galvanising trim just there. But offside rear wing all looks really nice. Um, all looks good around the window. Um, driver's door, once again, fair bit of electrolytic reaction just coming up on the bottom edge of the door, which has been touched in a bit with a slightly darker green for some reason. Uh, and a few bits and pieces on the uh, on the door there itself. Again, it looks like the offside of the scuttle has been uh, repaired at some point up here, but all again looks fairly strong. And the A post looks to be untouched, no problem there. Um, offside front wing, very very good once again. Slight nick in the um, uh, in the wheel arch lip just there. But that's it. Driver's door inside. What we got? Very strong, very correct, very nice. No problems at all with that whatsoever. The card's a bit loose, but um, 
I'll probably just tuck it back into its clip. There we go. Uh, again, inside the dash, very, very nice, very straight, no problems. Um, driver's seat's all nice, all the seats are good, in fact. It's a nice little Andy, this one. I like this. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. We take part exchanges. We take debit card and Visa and MasterCard credit cards. Um, we can deliver or ship anywhere you like. Um, it's good to go, basically. That's it. End.